you go. Oh, sorry. I another video for a little bit, but uh, this is what I've been working on. This is my latest um, 300 WSM. Uh, it's a Winchester Model 70. It's a um, 06. It's the New Haven Island plant. Uh, featherweight um, come in the timber stock it's got a NXS 2 to 5 to 10 scope on it um, control rear feed it's got the Timney trigger on it so and a Bell and Carlson stock so it's um, it's quite a good comes in at nine pounds I'm not putting a brake on this um, due to the fact that I don't want a brake and I think that it's um, it shoots really nice at nine pounds with the 200 grain ELDX's or I've just been testing the um, 208 grain ELDM's um, you know uh, it's not much more to say it's got the Night Force rings Night Force 20 MO base um, well, this is a really cheap build, but it's really, I love actually carrying it. It's a beautiful gun to carry. It's a pretty traditional sort of style for me. Control round feed, American made, Olin, Olin um, factory, New Haven. Um, they're getting rarer, I believe. Um, but they're a good price too, so you sort of, um, yeah, you don't, doesn't cost you a lot. I've betted this one myself. First time betting it. It's come up really good. I'm really proud of it. Um, shoots really good. I've just been testing it out now. The 765 meters with the 208 ELDMs and the 200 grain ELDXs. I'm actually running the same powder. Um, I didn't change the powder. Um, it, it shoots well. Um, yeah. So this has been my high, high country Samba deer gun. Is uh, pretty pretty nice, nine pounds. If you guys want to find anything, I actually did get me gunsmith when I got it. I had a bit of rust. I had it nicked off about an inch and a half, so I had it, the barrel shortened. This is a one in ten twist. Um, uh, I had it re-crowned uh, through me gunsmith, and um, yeah, she's still got a bit of surface rust on the barrel, but yeah, you know what it hasn't affected the way this thing shoots. This shoots really good. So yeah, I think comes down to me hand loads being uh, I believe pretty good uh, I've tested them enough to know sort of what to do I don't overdo me hand loads or I, I full size everything off I trim them trim all my cases I'm only using Hornady brass I don't I don't believe there's a really bad brass out there I think you can really modify it and make brass work for you as long as you're running good pressure they at last um, one problem is with WSMs they do run a real high pressure so you don't really want to be putting too much powder in it, otherwise you might as well be throwing away your brass. It does expand a fair bit in the rear for the primers. And I found um, using Magnum primers doesn't help at all, so just use your large large rifle primers. You can use a match. There's no need in Australia for us to use Magnum primers, I, I believe. Um, these um, large primers are, are fine. We don't have really have extreme conditions. Um, you can run your Magnums. But um, I just find it opens up your pockets too much on the WSM. Um, so, yeah, I don't want to be burning brass at these times when everything's at a premium. So, yeah, this is the build. Bell and Carlson Winchester Model 70, second-hand gun I bought online. And you know what? I like this better than the Tikers. I actually reckon they're heaps better. They're like a real gun. Reminds me of the older stuff. So, And it shoots well. Just get your actions bedded, boys. That's it. Thanks for watching.